ladies. Hi, everyone. Favourite subject, how to wear jeans. Yes. I'm a jeans girl. Yeah. Are you a jeans you know, girl? You know what? I've got to say, I've never been a jeans girl. I have to admit because I've actually been saying that for a long time. But if I'm not a jean girl, I've simply wearing jeans a lot. Yeah. And I love all you of a sudden. You became I a jeans them. girl a few years ago. Oh, really? As long as that? Uh, yeah. Oh, when, wow. I think when we moved into this new building that we've got, which Ooh. is beautiful, if anyone wants to come and visit in um, Elkington, okay. then you started to wear jeans, and that was actually the start of the jeans trend. And a like trend a like trend. jeans, honestly, is probably going to stick around for like 10 years because it's pretty easy yeah, to wear. Before that, you wore a real jersey girl because the leggings were really in before yeah. that, and then it became jeans. Yeah. Off topic, and though. going from jersey to jeans, that's an interesting conversation to have because. I used to think jersey was so comfortable, but you know what? These jeans are just as comfortable. Yeah. Everything is stretched anyway, so in my mind, I think I had this thing going on, but no, not true. Not jeans, true. Are jeans so are so comfy if you get the right ones. They're good. And um, ours are super stretchy, so of course they're comfortable. Yeah. Mm. So today, what we're going to do is we're going to give you guys like a little, really simple formula to be wearing jeans and a shirt because there's a few different looks you can try it's very easy to style jeans but we've made it super simple but we might as well start to let you guys know that we have two new washes available in the jeans we are wearing the two different jeans both jeans front. come in both colors yes so yeah. mine actually we'll stand back a bit yes yeah, stand back a bit mine are the darker wash and the darker wash is called indigo so there's the baggier leg jean called the girlfriend jean very bad. Oh, which is amazing. Baggy. You're, you've got a size too big though. But it is baggy. I have, but it's definitely baggy, ladies. It's a baggy look. And then mine, I'll stand back. Mine is the skinny um, version of the jean. So this is called the pull on jean. It doesn't have a fly. It's just got this big rib waistband, really nice and high. Pull them on over your hips. They're a bit eh, 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 to get up, but then when they're on, they're really, really comfy. They're nice and firm. No bulgy bits because they're so high, which I love. Yeah. Well, a little bit of a bulge, but nothing that you're yeah. going to be worried about. Nothing you can't handle. And I have the traditional pull-on, I mean, not pull-on, uh, zip and, um, you know, five pocket jean. The traditional style jean on the top, but the leg is awesome. It's more of a, um, just a straight leg, and that's why you get more width at the bottom, mm. as opposed to long being more shapely leg jean, which is what we call skinny jean. This is not quite the skinny jean, but it's almost not quite the girlfriend jean. If you go up a size, it's definitely the girlfriend jean, but I think as a standard fit, it actually is just, just like an easy fit. An easy fit, yes, yes, which is a nice way to put it. It is an easy fit. And so as far as the colour... Your colour is called dark sky, so dark sky is the lighter version. And you can see how mine's a lot lighter in the fading, even if you can't quite move see it. Hand. These are the two washers. See how mine's a lot lighter on the thigh area, and the colour is more blue. Uh, more blue, whereas there's more black in the blue of Lauren's style, and it's not so washed back. So I'd say that this colour is really good for just in general, and of course this is a really general rule, but probably I wear darker denims when I'm a bit dressier, and I probably go for lighter mm. colours when As I'm doing more of a cash vibe. Yeah, I would mm. say so. Mind you, I always tend to dress my denim up, so that rule doesn't, see, it, to me that rule doesn't exist, but it's a very common, well-known rule, and I think you would love that. Yeah, You'd exactly. love to know that, because yeah. that information... But, you know, and also, so another thing is, if you really can't decide, because you're going to end up with a lot of different tones of denim in your wardrobe, and you really do need a light, a dark, a mid, a black, like white, you need that realm because jeans are really in. But also I find that maybe in a lighter jean, you may be inclined sometimes to wear lighter colours, but it still looks great with black, as you can see on yeah, the And then I've got the black. opposite. I was going to say dark denim looks good with dark colours, but I've got a white shirt. Maybe that rule doesn't apply. Doesn't well, apply. You know, we really love, don't know. We love busting all the rules and we're doing it right now. We don't wear rule breakers. Yeah. Not the rule ultimate rule breakers, we love yeah. that. Ooh, we're bad asses. Yeah, that's it, bad asses. But we know the rules, and that's when you can break them. Yeah. That's the other side of it. If you don't know the rules, how do you know how to break them? That's Are you going to tell that to your granddaughter? Yes. Hopefully no grandchildren are watching this, because you... Oh, yeah, she's got to follow, gotta follow, follow the, rules. the rules. Yeah, okay. Follow this rules. is a, this is a worry. Maybe I better not tell her that. Okay, don't tell yeah. her that. Keep that one to yeah. yourself. That can oh, move to your house. That's right. Yeah. yeah. Because she'll right. be telling me what to do left, right and centre. Totally. If I'm going to give her that one. I know. So, guys, if you have already bought the jeans, there's another colour available in each style. Um, and really, I recommend that you need a tight jean and a looser jean in your wardrobe. But we'll, we're going to go through all that on Monday in a deep part of your wardrobe session. 
Yeah. This coming Monday. Yeah, so it's coming Monday. We couldn't do it any earlier than that because we have a plan. Okay, okay, so, so rule we'll number start, one. Yes. Add a print. Woo! I'm going to add my print right now. now. And I'm going to add my print. Now, so, of course, I'm going for animal because I think animal is here to stay. It tends to be, to me, what I love about animal, and I know it's either a fashion thing or not, but we've always sold animal forever. So it's not necessarily a fashion trend. But to me, animal is one of the uh, neutral prints, which means most people can wear it. I mean, I know technically that not everyone can wear an animal, and it's all, but to me, it's about personality in any case. But it is, it is very, um, it's a very easy print to wear though, because it's not, it's, it kind of covers a lot of personalities. Um, but an animal, like any print shirt really, would tick this box. Oh, we've both got animal. Look at yeah, that. we've both got animal. Yeah. I've got snake. So I've got the cool, Lauren's got the warm. That's the snake. This is, uh, I suppose, the leopard version. We've, we both don't know. You've left yours out. I'm going to do a side tuck up close. Okay, I've immediately done a front tuck, but I think that's a good one to show people how to do the side tuck. Well, yeah, that's right. And also, face shirt is a new one today. You haven't seen it before. It's like, it's kind of like our traditional blogger shirt, which you will love, but it has a collar. Because collars are really in at the moment. I'm not sure if you've noticed. I actually love collars. So we put the collar on the blogger. So smart. You can wear your necklace there. If you are broad across the top being a strawberry, this is a beautiful shirt for you. If you have short neck, this is fabulous because you can do it this way. If you have long neck, it doesn't matter because you can do it like that or whatever. <coughs> I'm so sorry. I had to cough then. And it has new cuffs compared to the blogger. <coughs> Hay fever, ladies. I'm so sorry. We can't even cut that out, so I have to just leave it there. Um, seeing we live. Anyway, it does have a cuff. You turn back like a man's cuff, which I've done, and now I'm pulling it up. So when I say the man's cuff, it's like the cuff link cuff where the buttons are on the top half, and you just either wear the bottom half down, if you like, with that split, or you turn them back. And then I always like to pull it up, uh, or you can use armbands. I've just done the traditional front tuck. Um, I'm still wearing my cami underneath. It's just the... Um, uh, the, uh, layering called the layering cami and you could almost say this is this is an outfit I've got my earrings on I've got my necklace on and I do have stilettos on at the moment but obviously you can do it with little flutes I think it look good with the runners I don't personally like runners and jeans I'm just I'm doing really casual so if we're talking about getting dressed up I do um, you know maybe a sock boot or this brand new uh, what are these called combat boot the combat boot and these are my own runner version of course, which is a little bit dressier, but uh, a traditional runner like this will make you look quite casual. Yeah, but it's, it's, still, an, it's still an in look. It's just not same style. Yeah, it, it just depends on what you want to do. And also, we've got the, the um, knee-height boots, which we'll probably put on with one of these outfits, because I think that was a pretty cool look this year. Sure. All right, so I've got on my print shirt. This is the waterfall shirt in brown animal. Does you know? But look, everything we're doing here, you can actually add any print shirt. But I want to show you how to do a front, a, a side tuck because um, I know it's a bit tricky to get a handle on, and it works really well when you've got buttons through the front. Oh, that one's not even done up. So I'll just do that up. Okay, so what we're going to do is grab one side. The underside, not the button side. Yep, the side. The button side. No, sorry, yes. it is. It's the button side. So the side with the buttons. I'm going to grab it quite a bit lower than where my jeans um, waistband is. So I'm going to go down here. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to fold it up because I actually want to tuck all that into my jeans. Then I'm just going to tuck it just into the top of the waistband. So it's not, it's only to about there. It's only tucked into about there. And then I'm going to let it blouse over. So by doing this, all of a sudden, it's created all these different proportions on my body. It's given me a bit of leg. I'm still hiding enough here so I feel really comfortable, confident, etc. But I think it's just given me a bit more style. And this is a really good one to do when you have a button-through shirt on. It's very easy when it's button-through because you can easily get the split um, in between. And in this case, too, Lauren, you blouse it over enough that you don't see the rib waistband. Yes. If that's what you want to do. If you want to show it, obviously, you're just tucking that little bit more. But I think it's nice just covering it, don't yeah, you? Yeah, I, I like it just covering it. And obviously, you can have a bit more blouse over if you want to. And then I've just got our arm cuffs on there just to pull my sleeves up. 
and this is what the sleeve would look like. You can just do a, a small little cup if you want, or you don't need them at all. It's, it's entirely up to you. And look, if I was styling this myself, I would opt to do the top button up. But if you don't like the top button, I think this shirt also looks really good. I'll show you this. So that looks pretty smart, doesn't it? Maybe we can talk about when to do the top button up. If you do the top button up, if you've got a, a, a fairly long neck, if you have a short neck, you're better off doing it uh, my style, you know, undone, because that lengthens your neck. So just bear that in mind. You'll know what your neck is, I'm sure. Well, if it doesn't, yeah, and if it just doesn't suit you button up, yeah, obviously, just, yeah, yeah that's do right, don't do it. Yeah. <laughs> but, um, guys, I want to say, I feel like a button here is a bit on the daggy side. I'll do it up for you so you can see. There, I don't know. To me, it's not well, style. It, it gives you a little bit more length in your neck area and shortens your shoulders, you know, you know across that broad part of your shoulders. If that's what you want to do, that's what you have you wear your shirt. If I was going to do it unbuttoned, I would actually, obviously you're going to wear a cami because this is a bit see-through, I would actually do a few buttons undone and let my yeah, cami show through. That shows more style. I'd wear it like that too. Like you know that. what I mean? So don't be afraid. You don't have to go up to the top. But if you don't go up to the top, maybe you want to really try and have a few undone. You could probably do one more up there, but to, to, to really give you guys an idea of how this looks, I've done a few. It's nice to, nice to show the cami, I think. I think it's nice. Uh, yeah. yeah, you do a black cami. And you know, third piece, you know, which is rather nice. It gives you the third piece. Like I've got the black one, which I think is rather nice showing through. You've got the white one showing through. I think that's a much nicer look. Um, and I was just going to say, don't worry about so much a belt if you've got a print because that kind of takes over. Yes. Although we do have a jean belt now, which um, maybe we can show it for the next outfit. Yeah, the next outfit because yeah. then you need a little bit more because this actually says quite a bit because you've got the print there. Don't forget the prints actually hide a million sins. It's if you you know if you wanted to disguise something, put the print where you want to disguise. So this is a fabulous outfit probably for strawberries, I guess. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Yeah. And the other thing with prints is it but sort of becomes, right everyone too. it sort of becomes the hero of your outfit. So it, I suppose if you really aren't sure of what to wear, a print is often the easiest way to look like you're in style because it does so many things. Whoops, that was quick, wasn't it? Whoop, hey, throwing things around. It does so <laughs> many things and it kind of, you don't have to do all the extras, um, but we're going to show you how to do all the extras now anyway. So, add a basic shirt is the next one. A white shirt. A white shirt. She doesn't follow the plan. Yeah, I don't follow the plan. I call it basic. She calls it white. Same well, it's not one. necessarily it's not basic. basic. No, you're right. It's not. Just add a white shirt. You are so correct. So, that is tip number two, guys. And we have two different white shirts on. Ooh, this one mine. that I am wearing is coming home with me today. Um, and I'm going to untuck my um, cami because... You know what? I actually love it with the cami underneath. I recommend that everyone that buys... A white shirt needs that white cami. Yeah, I think yeah. even under here, I'm wearing the black, yes, but that looks awesome. So I've got on our Chelsea shirt, and you know what? I keep saying to myself, I've got to get it today, I've got to get it today, and then I leave and I don't get it, and then I'm angry at myself in the morning because I don't have it. It's coming home today. It's fabulous with the cami underneath, It does. Say, because it gives you that extra layer. Yes. So have a look at that when she moves back. When Lauren moves back, look how pretty that looks. That makes it look more feminine, very nice. Good outfit. And similar outfit. shapes at the bottom. And it looks fabulous with your tight jeans. Love it with the tight jeans. I actually still love it with your jeans too. All of these shirts easily can be into They can transpose, that's right. Um, and just a reminder for those of you who didn't see the live on this, this, um, this shirt has oh, such a beautiful fabric. It's not quite our silky, not quite our soft touch, somewhere in between. It just feels so light to wear. I actually feel like I'm wearing nothing. But um, it's got these great knit stretch sleeves. So what you want to do when you get it, don't do not do that. That's daggy. Use it to zhuzh. And this is an easy way. You don't need your arm cuffs. You don't need anything like that. You just pull those sleeves up to where you want. Let it be tight there. And then let it blouse over. So it's for all those people who can't be bothered with the arm cuffs and the pulling the sleeves up and the elastics around the sleeves. All that. This kind of ticks that box for you. Okay, and I'm going to talk about the... Um Oh shirt, the shirt. Um, I have no idea. No idea. It's this one. <laughs> That's the shirt. Have a look. Have it's a look. probably what the shirt. What is it? No, it's not a. It doesn't have a. It doesn't have a thing. thing. Okay, it's it's the big shirt. The big shirt. The big shirt. And it does have buttons, so automatically I'm going to do a bit of a half tuck, which I think, like Lauren said, with the print shirt is always flattering. I like to sometimes leave that button undone because that just helps it 
slip and slide a little bit easier. Much nicer like that. And this one can give you a fair bit of cover there. It certainly gives you the tummy cover. If you're wearing this jean, you don't need to worry about your hoo-ha. And I love wearing it buttoned up as well. And with this, it's probably when I will add a necklace, I think. I prefer to add a necklace. Oh, you've already sorry. got it on. Look you at that. You've beat me to it. You I'm sorry. It. I think when you're doing something as simple as a white shirt, you can yeah, do something exciting around your neck. You know, yeah, yeah, you probably do need something. I don't know. We've shown them. We've shown them. We haven't shown these. I just this want to one. say, this one is gold and silver, and that one is a mixture. So you've got the best of both worlds here. I will show you maybe the gold. I used to be a silver girl, but I'm a gold girl now. So here it is, and what you do, you wrap it around twice, and then you just put it into one. Oh, you don't have to put it into one hole. This has got a, doesn't have a bar, it has a hook. Hang on, I'll do it up close so you can see. You just hook it in there, and you just let it hang. And this sits beautifully over this collar, and then you can either put the rings in the front. I love the rings up. in the front. You don't have to, though, but I really like it. You like can that. actually do it reversed, and what's the reverse? I'll show you the other way around. So pretty. This is just plain. Okay, I've got my, my neck twisted. But this is just plain, but I actually... And you can kind of fiddle with it a bit so you get different lengths, but I personally prefer those in the front, too. You can do them to the side too if you want. But anyway, we'll do them for the, mm. in the front for now. And I think that's actually pretty stylish. Very stylish. Now, what about the ladies that do want to wear their buttons undone? Can we see the necklace with that? Yes, absolutely. Because this necklace worn short still looks fantastic. Look at how I've got it now. If you want to do the deep V-neck, then you can kind of get that up around the neck look. Because it's all about the neck at the moment. It's like collars and everything's kind of up there. But if you don't want to do it... This is a great way to play around with those proportions. I'm actually loving this more than the collar done up for some reason yes. at the moment. You know, it's very that man trend. It's, it's like... Yeah, this is... It feminises the man trend. It does. Think, but this is pretty stylish. You know, very. Like the necklace, you know. Very stylish. Yeah. Can I see that shirt fully untucked? Because for those of you... I think this is one of those shirts that I used to love it knotted, which we'll show you in a sec. But then I loved it with the side tuck, but now there's something about it being completely left out that I'm really, really thinking that I want to I do I think now. It, looks, it looks cool out as well. Very cool. Well, it's kind of like a up. smock, but not in a bad way. In a cool well, way. it's got a fantastic ball on it. Yes. Have a look at the hemline, how beautifully it forms. You know, it kind of has that just natural drape. Mm. And you can also wear it with a cami under. I'll unhook my, unzhuzh my cami see if you get a bit of length because I've made mine shorter but you can get the idea like that yeah so you can have whatever color cami I've got the black one on for now but having it like this really is a beautiful outfit for most shapes very in beautiful. any case very you know? beautiful and also a white sneaker would look just as good it still looks style and don't be afraid to do your gold necklace which is very dressy with your more casual sneaker I think that's a really interesting combo so don't be afraid of that I'm going to pop my black sneakers on just to give you a bit of a view of, um, of a sneaker, but something that is a bit more stylized. This is a sock sneaker. I have to take this one up a little bit, just so that you get to see enough of my ankle. And then maybe I can hold my white. Oh, I got that even. Oh, I got the even now. I should have left it as it was. I'm just going to put my sneakers here. Yeah, and this looks kind of cool because you've got this dressy thing going on here. You know, with my earrings and my chains and just the way I'm wearing my shirt, a bit of a cami showing through. And then I've got my fancy snock sneaker. Mm. Snock? Who is that snock? Oh, jeez. No, I made that up. Sock sneaker. <laughs> <laughs> um, but notice that I am showing a bit of ankle. But, you know, look, you don't have to. I just feel that it gives me more style and more length. So just pay attention to what you feel about have a try. Yourself. Have a try, you know. I think this looks like a pretty funky look. It does, definitely. And I still really I like mine with a white sneaker. Yeah, so it's classic. Yeah, totally classic, classic but still stylish. Yeah, whereas mine's a little bit more edgy with these um, runners. Now, let's, we'll go we'll to the next. the next one. So the next is. idea, and then we'll show you guys the belt. We've got a new belt if for those yeah. pear-shaped ladies who really want to tighten the waistband of jeans. Um, the next rule is, hey, do you remember? Yes. And a pop of colour. Yes! Yeah, I've got that one right. Full marks. Full marks right yeah. now. Me. She's hired. 
she wins. Oh my, oh my. Well, you know, we sort of talk about this very briefly before we come on. Like and, very, very briefly. And, and, you know, it's like the memory test, all right? It's the memory test. Oh. Even though, I mean, I'm sure I could, you know, if I focused, I'm sure I could. Yeah. But, but it's like, I, you know, got too many, other too many ideas. Um, and guys, while the, the, the main post to this video, which is probably too hard to get to right now, but that will have a link to a category with all these items plus others that make sense. So that's why we're not necessarily always telling you the names and we don't know the names and we're, we're not detail driven, are we? Well, it doesn't matter because, because the info's all there. Ooh, well, there you go. This is a new shirt. How hot is it? I Ooh. need it. Need it now. Hot, hot, hot. I love it just like this. I've just thrown it on. It has the, um, just the high neck blogger. Love it with the chain. Can you see how this chain has just elevated everything? By the way, they're only available online, so you'll have to get the chain from online. Love it with a bit of the black peep through from my cami. Love it with the baggy um, jean. I kind of like it with these sneakers somehow. Yes, I do. This is looking much yes. nicer than, I'm wearing bottom stilettos. I don't think the stilettos will work with this. You know, I've got enough bling, I think. Yeah, there's something as well, I think, about that colour. It's very aqua, but it's a very dusted, watered down aqua and it looks fantastic with black it's sort of one of those colors you think oh well that yeah. suit black but it really suits so that's why you just have that touch of black there touch of black there or the one or the uh, layer cami which really hangs down like i said i had mine taken up so that was crazy i should have left it but anyway i've taken it up and i love it with the black um uh sock boot with a touch of the sneaker look underneath i think it really makes it look quite uh Oh, quite trendy, but kind of edgy, I guess. Isn't yeah, it? it is a bit edgy. The yeah. colour is actually, it's kind of that, got that cool factor about this colour. Yeah, it's kind of bright without being too overbearing. Yeah. Bright without being bright, a bit like that. One of those. Nice. One of those. And actually, yeah. my colour is much the same. This is our rose colour, and it's also very bright without being fluoro. You know, sometimes they have that real fluoro look to them. That, this is more the, the vibe. Yes, I think so. You'll find that these two colours uh, in a category where I kind of call them universal. They suit most people. Obviously, you're going to have a group there where it doesn't suit, and I'm really sorry if when I say it suits everybody and then somebody comes out and says, oh, it doesn't suit me, I've forgotten about the fact that occasionally you're going to get someone that it doesn't work with. We're just going for, for the, the bulk of the bulk of the, the ladies, I think, and these are those Did you, did you offend I'm, someone? I'm probably. Who have you offended? Oh, what have you done? Oh, 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 I need to cut this if out. If she offended you, yeah. then just she's I, sorry. Yeah, I'm sorry in advance for anything I say for the rest of my life. <laughs> I mean, you I know, the ladies, I know but the ladies have already said that we're allowed to say what we want. Yes. Because so you know what? We're not, enough, cause we're not, we're not news that we presenters. Present. That's right, we're not news presenters. So I just can't, can't, you know. Exactly. Yeah. This is a very similar shape that I'm wearing to the white shirt Faye just had on. The details are different, but the overall shape is the same. So you saw her with the neck open. I've done the half tuck. You, you know, so I'm doing all the different versions for you. But this actually, I've got to say, this. can we swap necklaces or sure. not? Sure. Uh, yeah, I'll put, actually, not really. I'll put that one on. Okay. Yeah. I just feel like gold would really suit. You know maybe I'll do silver because I haven't put on the silver. Okay, I might show you guys up close first. This one is the combo of two colours. Mixing metals is a really good way to sort of modernise your look. And especially if you like, like if you've got something special, like a special pair of earrings or something um, that have a bit of silver in them, then you may feel like doing all gold here is a bit too strong a contrast. This is when you go that, because you, you're going to rock that mixed metals and go, hey, I actually mixed metals. Yeah, that mixed metals would be perfect. I actually want to show everybody okay. the silver. It's not going to go with my gold earrings, but have a look at this silver. It's got the black and silver there and the silver there, the traditional silver colour, and it's fabulous. And I'm going to show you another way of wearing it, which we're not really recommending, because we love it wrapped around twice. Yeah, but we should show. Should show. Okay, so if you're the lady, the strawberry lady with, with fabulous big boobs, you know, we've got that boob envy happening all the time. Haha. <laughs> what you can do also is create a V-neck and just have that hanging down like so. And all I've done is just looped it in the middle of that circle, that uh, that disc that we use to, or that ring actually that we use to, to hook it on when you double it around. So they're the two options. I would probably not go this way because I think all of a sudden that looks really mumsy, okay? It yeah, is yeah, 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 yeah. That's Don't want it cool. that way. So you've got to do it that way or wrapped around the neck and yeah. that's how it's funky. And it's a beautiful, beautiful quality. It has a little bit of weight, mm. but because they're not a chain belt as such, 
um, we think the weight is pretty good. And the quality is you know, sensational, made in Australia by our ladies, very exclusive, we only have very few, and then we'll be over. Um, and there you go, I quite like it with this colour though. I do, I, like I love it. it with that colour. Mm. It actually really suits. It does really suit. Really so if you're a silver chick, this is the one you go for. And this is the gold. Excuse all my necklaces. I actually like it though with all the necklaces, but um, by the end of the day, it could be in a tangled mess. So if I was going to wear this all day, I think I'd remove one. Um, and I love the gold with this rose colour. Yes, I prefer that yeah, too. You're yeah, right. Yeah, yeah. I, I actually love the silver with this. I don't know yeah. if gold is quite as good. No, yes, yeah, that's I, right. I would do the silver. But don't let that hold you back because if you're a gold girl and you love this colour, it would still work on you because it would suit you perfectly. So um, then we'll move on. Yeah, we'll move on. So that was out of pop of colour. Um, again, any plain pop of colour, we've got many shirts um, in lots of different colours and you might have some in your wardrobe, that's where you want to experiment because the colour is saying something, so then just with jeans and probably a necklace, you've got it, got it made. Okay, the next one is gold tonal because blue is such a colour as a trend for this season um, that you can do it. Now, if you're a warm, you'd wear maybe a mustard cami, we have had mustard camis or any of the warm coloured camis, but for now, we've only got the black and the ivory, and you just add this blue to give you that tonal look because, like we said, it's a real look. But in this case, I'm going to take off my sneakers because I don't like them, and put on my heels again. Yeah, and I'm going to take off this necklace. Oh, we need to make sure we show the ladies the belt. Oh, yes. So we I can do it with this outfit. Yeah, yeah we'll do it with this outfit. Okay, I'm just going to zhuzh first. Do you want to show? No, we actually want to show as a jean belt, so there's no point showing over that dress. No, really. yeah, yeah, yeah. So what I'm going to do, oh, I will button it up a little bit. Maybe so this I'll is try. our pale blue. I've got on our chambray. This shirt also comes in this chambray colour, and we have many chambray options available. Pale blue, anything in that blue tone, worn with your blue jeans, yeah, it's, is hot. Now, just a tip on these buttons, ladies, because I'm taking up my time doing up the buttons. If you don't like doing buttons and undoing them, don't. Just put, on, put it on over your head, because you don't need to. You only need a couple at the neck, so you don't have to go through this uh, hassle every time. Anyway, so I'll do a bit of a front tuck all the way around so you can see the belt, and obviously you know how to wear this shirt, because we've shown you a number of times. So, we're going to show you a new G belt. Look at this, it is only black, but we do have different coloured buttons eventually. For the moment we have this black and silver because it's quite neutral. And it's boom, boom, super duper stretchy. It's a really nice elastic. And it's one size fits all. And because of that, it's one of those that by the time you wrap it around to the front, depending on your size, because we only have the one size, it'll um, show you what to do. So I'm going to just quickly do this. I am putting it in every hole, Lauren, so bear with me. That's but right. what, what you want to do, if you are, okay, if you're a size 18, I just, okay, this is where I need my arm oh, to. Right. Yeah, I should really, because it'll, they'll annoy the hell out of me as I'm doing this. I just want to show you that if you're a size 18, you'll know where it's going to come to. So that you always loop it back because that way it keeps it secure and it's super stylish. It's going to end up looking, there we go, it's not even going to come loose, sort of like, like that. So you can see that bit of leather end. Oh, I didn't hook it into the last belt loop, but you see that's what it's going to look like. But in my case, because I'm a tiny top, I'm going to thread it through this loop because I prefer. Now, because you're putting it with the jeans and they do have belt loops, you can actually... Put it back through the belt loops you know thread it through like so the traditional way and just have it wherever but what i'm going to do is like i always do because i think it looks really stylish that way i'm going to thread it through here you can make it as long as you like and i'm going to do a bit of a loop now i either do the under loop and have it looped over like that or if it's not long enough for that, I'm just going to... Okay, I'm going to have to make it a wee bit tighter. There we go, that's better. Just bring it back over and just thread it through that way. So you've got a number of ways to, to show, and I think all these things kind of add a bit of style 
to the belt in any case, and it certainly adds a bit of style to your jeans. What do you think? Yeah, I like that. And the other thing I really love as well, because obviously oh, 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 your jeans need belt loops to do this, so this pan won't need it. We will have more jeans coming in, which are our booty lift jeans and some new washes. You may have heard about them last year. They're a very, very tight, skinny leg jean. They'll be here in about a week, but this belt will be able to be used there. But the thing is, if you want to size up in these jeans like Faye has, to get the baggier look, that's when you really need the belt. The waist will so, feel a bit big. Yeah, it brings in the waist a wee bit and it just looks more curvaceous on your body. Yes. That's kind of what it does. Definitely. Do. But yeah. I actually love having that tad of bling there. Even yeah. when you want to do the tiniest of front tucks and just show just that. Just a little bit. Instead of a full circle. It, it just makes it look really dress. smart. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it does. It looks kind of cool. It looks pretty cool. Yeah, I love it. And it's neutral enough that it's not going to take away from your outfit. No. And again, Can I, I just show. I just want to show them. Time. Well, I just want to show them if you didn't have oh, so yes. much belt on show. Yes. You've got. We've got our camis underneath, so it's hard it's sometimes when you're moving around the yeah. trucks. Yeah. Okay. So if you didn't have, I don't know if I've got that even. I'm hoping you get the gist of it. So you can just have it. So it's just a, a buckle rather than a belt on show. I was just trying to show you more of the belt, and even as a half tuck. Actually, I'll show you the half tuck as well. You can move your belt a little bit over to show more of the buckle. So it's, again, just a little bit of a peep. That's all you need. Oh, I haven't got that done too well. So it's just a bit of a peep, see? Yeah, I like it. Nice. It kind of just breaks up your look. Anyway, have a play around. If you find you need have the need for belts, this is a good one because it's comfortable. You can really play around with it. Anyway, let's get back to the tonal thing. Yes. So as you can see, we're blue. Very blue, 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 and blue. And the point is that it's a very blue. I mean, Pantone have been, Pantone have been who are the colour makers of the planet, um, you know, with the dyes and the pigments and so on. They do all that and they kind of work out what the mood of the, <clears throat> of the world is and that's how they pick their colours. Like, it's not surprising you've got a bit of a blue thing happening now, but then the opposite to this is yellow and that's the light at the end of the tunnel, so to speak. So that bit, you know, fashion is so much about what's going on right now. That's why we like changing clothes. It's not about being a classic person or being, uh, you know, a fashionista in actual fact. It's about the way we're feeling because the clothing is that. I just thought I'd throw that in there because it's interesting, isn't it? Yeah. Anyway, so at the moment it's blue and, um, yeah, the tonal blue is just such a, a cool look. It looks yeah, amazing. It definitely it. is. Okay, so now there's one last tip at the end of this that really um, can be worn with any of the things we've shown you, and that is add a blazer or a jumper. There are, of course, many other jackets you can add, but we think a blazer and a jumper um, are probably those sort of really modern looks that you don't know how to do already. So yes. we're going to show you that example now. And they kind of take you to more places because the blazer dresses it up and the jumper is for more and more casual, do you think? Mm. Yes, definitely. Okay, so I'm doing the blazer. You can do the blazer. I'm not so sure if this dress in I particular... Think, I think you do the blazer. Yes. And I do the jumper. Yes, yes, yes. And I'm going to do the ivory jumper instead of the black. I think the blazer with that, I think, will work. But you can also do a front tuck with your... Yeah, I need to do a front tuck again, yeah. I think. If anyone is taller, which most of you are, that's very real. You're all taller than me. You could probably get away with this. I, I feel like the dress is a tad long. So I do like to tuck, which I did before. Oh, I left my armbands on. Bugger. Anyway. I did leave my armbands on, maybe, so I can't use my sleeves. Yeah, nice. Yeah, I'd want to do it like that, because I just need that little bit more leg. Yeah, I think if you're going to wear this dress and tuck it, you wouldn't do this long cami underneath because it's getting really caught up in yeah, everything. Too much stuff in Just there. do a tight cami um, underneath if you want to tuck this dress, otherwise it won't matter. Kind of commands the room adding a blazer. And I think yeah, it's a blazer and jeans, really. A blazer shirt and jeans are the Go easiest way to look on trend. The yeah. easiest way. If you've got so nothing else, do shirt, that. blazer, jeans. Yes, that's right. Shirt, blazer, jeans, and to me, a dressy shoe, but you can always do a, well, no, a sneaker, sneaker looks because, amazing. because of the blazer. You yeah, see? A sneaker so you've got amazing. so many options when you add that blazer. Not that we've got that many blazers, by the way. Just saying that's just something. Yeah. Okay, so and then show us the jump things. So that's probably where they're going to want to go as it gets cold. That's right. And I think this anything in a V-neck this year is so cool because it gives you that man's look, which is a big gender fluid thing. That's what it is. Not androgyny this year. It's called gender fluid. Ah, 
I picked up on my words from Lauren, make sure that, that you're saying trendy words, Mum. Anyway, this is definitely that look, and I think it's cool, and I love it with a shirt just hanging around uh, yes. the back, and yes. it's such, a, such a, a cool look, such a cool look. For sure. And I love it with my stilettos, but obviously you can wear it with sneakers, you can wear it with pretty much anything, mm -hmm. you know. We haven't actually done the boot, that blazer might be good for the boot. Oh, okay, yeah. No, maybe not. Okay. Um, yeah, so I, I don't even know what else to say about this. I well, just love it. The other thing is, I think the key thing is about when to wear a jumper and when to wear a blazer. If you have a shirt that has a very dropped shoulder, like the shirt Faye had on, you may want to wear an oversized jumper. Yes, of course. Whereas with your blazer, see how this is a normal sleeve. It's, a, it's on the shoulder, a little bit like my dress is pretty much on the shoulder. That's when you can wear a blazer because it doesn't bunch up it's not too wide that it won't bunch up. I can do something right up under the arm. But when you've got a really oversized shirt like Faye had on, that's when you can do the oversized jumper in any colour because it won't do any of the bunching. It's a very comfortable look. Going off topic topic for a bit, I remember reading a comment from one of the ladies. I just love that. Oh, look at that. Yeah. <gasps> I'm the boss. Yeah, you're the boss. Yeah. And that's almost that blue trend as well. Yeah, beautiful. beautiful. Yeah, beautiful. Okay. okay. Anyway, going off topic, I did read one on the VIP page, some of the ladies saying that this part of the arm, I might have been on the live yesterday, that they found this part of the arm too tight for them. I realise now what's going on. I realise, tell me if I'm wrong though. I think you're going down a size because you think it's a big fit, but the arm is still the right size. So if you've gone down a size and let's say you're a 14 and you bought the 12, your arm may be a 14, that's why it feels tight. You have to go to size bigger. And also we're very, you know, you know, we had our launch last night and I said, I wish we didn't have to add numbers to our garments, but you have to because you've got to give people some idea. Mm. The numbers, the sizes, don't really mean anything, right? I think because we've designed this to be a big look, you've just got to go up a size if that sleeve is too tight because that's the most specific part of the garment, see? And what would happen is, yeah, the body will be a little bit bigger, but you won't even notice it. But what will be bigger is this part of the sleeve will drop in your arm, so that's your smaller part of the arm. Take note. Mm. Anyway, that's my tip for this jumper. I want to show you as well a few oh, other gorgeous. combos. Just, just with the blazer, so you can see how it really does match so many things. Obviously, it matches all the plain colours, but even doing a stripe and an animal, isn't that stunning? Oh, the jeans. Yes. Again, all these looks are all mine. I love them. Yay. And even this jumper, your jumper over this, you know, isn't stunning. that gorgeous? Look at that. If you're more classic colouring like Lauren, this is beautiful. I love I'd that. wear it in any case, you know. But this is a, pu a beautiful, shall I take my jumper off and put it on that? Yeah, yeah. So yeah, good. Right. And then maybe... And then you can even, jumper. if you want the more high contrast, you could do a black jumper. Yeah. So an ivory and a black jumper probably going to be your easiest to match in with everything. Then add the colours if you love the colour. But um, these two are sort of those neutrals that will be able to be paired back. And a blazer really should be able to go with everything. We do have a plain black one. It's called our Santo blazer. If you're worried about the pinstripe not going with everything. But I find actually I've got both colours in that blazer and I find I can wear them with everything. Yes, I find that yeah. too. In fact, it's I'll prefer subtle. it somehow because it is just subtle. Okay, so that, look at that. How gorgeous does that look? Yeah, amazing. Ooh. I love it. Love I'll it, love it. And okay. maybe I'll do the black with my outfit now. I've got my dress on, so it's hard to see the jeans. Oh, okay. But you, you get the idea, right? Nice, really nice. Gorgeous. Especially for you girls that look like me, my colouring, blonde. How good is this combo? This is like our combo. Whereas this is more phase combo. She'd probably go the black with the other Yes, friend. look at that. The black is definitely me because of my dark hair. It seems to say more about my personality. Okay. Well, I think we've nailed it really well. Maybe one more thing. Somebody asked the other day about uh, whether we could do where this, uh, you know, hooked onto our... Oh, jeans. Yes, that was Jeans to see if it looks like a belt. Oh, I've got a belt on. Never mind. What I would do, if you do want to do that, because we're out of most of our other chain belts, but look, if we've got a chain belt, buy it because you'll make good use of it next summer, that's for sure. It'll be one of those keepers in your wardrobe when we're talking about keepers. Okay, so that's how it looks just hanging off a belt loop. Not, not that happy about that. Let me see if I can do it another way. Or I guess you can hook it around until you, you know. Until you're happy with it. Until you're happy with it. Yeah, you can put it through your belt loop. Maybe I'll hook it around this way. I think it's going to end up being too small. I, no, it definitely won't fit me. It's only going around half my little waist, ladies. So, but if you want to just have it there, but no point. Really, no. ladies, this is the necklace mm -hmm. by the chain belt. And yeah. 
What I would worry about, toy, really. I worry about, that's much chunkier than the chains, because the chains we make really light so they don't hit your car and stuff that's like right, that. That's right, yes. Weary. just want to show you this combo too. I love these colours together. Oh, that's gorgeous. And with the denim mm. jean, that would look beautiful. 100%. Yeah. I think you've got some real winners out of today, ladies, if you're looking at how to build up your wardrobe. This is gorgeous. Or even just how to style your wardrobe, mm. really. All right, guys. Okay. Well, tomorrow we'll be back and we're going to show you how to wear um, the biker jacket look because there's a lot of different personalities that that can work for. So tune in tomorrow at 1 and then you'll be able to see everything we've done. Okay. See you tomorrow, mm. ladies. Bye.